Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we're going to be looking at the Halo 4 Play Arts Kai Master Chief. This guy, I think, is my favorite figure of all time. I really couldn't be happier with this figure. Um, if anything, it's my favorite figure of the year, but I am i can't think of anything I like better than this figure. It's just turned out so nice, I think. Some people aren't so happy, but I am. So let's look at the accessories first. He's got the plasma pistol, which he holds perfectly well in his left trigger hand, and his new assault rifle, which he holds perfectly well in his right trigger hand. I have it cocked to the side a little bit, but he can hold it straight. And then he has two open hands, which are still semi-kind of trigger hands. I don't know why they did that. I don't know. But, and this one has a hole in the palm. Again, I don't know why they did that, but maybe we'll find out in the future. So two of those hands. And he comes with a stand which is something Play Arts used to do and they haven't done in a while but it's on this sleeve that goes behind the figure in the packaging it's got the instructions for how to use the interchangeable hands and then instructions for how to put the stand together but it's adjustable height, adjustable angle, all that good stuff it's a cool stand I don't personally need it because they stand just fine on their own so I'm going to leave it in the packaging for now but note that it is in there and it's a very nice piece it's a, one of the best stands I've seen so far Okay, so the figure itself. He stands <clears throat> nine and a half inches tall, so he's good size. Let's get the weapons out of his hands for the review. As you can see, the hands are a softer rubber, so you shouldn't have any trouble really getting the guns in and out. If you do, take the hands off the wrist and you'll have a little bit more uh, play and be able to do that. Okay, so some people are complaining about these figures, saying the proportions are still wonky, like the Reach figures. I strongly disagree. I think the proportions are just about perfect. The thighs are not particularly big. They fit the figure. The legs aren't too long. The shoulders are a little big, but that, and the, and the chest is a little narrow, but that is only so that you can pose him the way you want to. If his chest was too broad, you couldn't bring his arms around as much. And if the shoulders were smaller, they wouldn't have the range of motion either. So I am perfectly okay with that. I think it is more than acceptable. I think that the proportions on the guy are fine, that this is an absolutely fantastic figure. If you're a Halo fan or an action figure fan at all, this is a must have. So let's go into the figure a little bit closer. The paint, he's got much more of a gunmetal-y, silvery green to him. It doesn't have nearly as much green as the old Master Chief did, the one that really wasn't based on anything. And since this one is based on Halo 4, it's automatically better, I think. But uh, so the armor looks really cool. There's great uh, differentiation in the little pieces, and there's dry brushing to make it look like battle damage. Really, really sharp looking figure. The paint is really nice. Really, really cool. The visor is perfect. It's got that pearlescent goldish color to it. The little lights are painted well on his helmet, so... Really, I couldn't ask for more. The paintwork on the weapons is equally nice. Looks great. Just so you can see the hands close up again. The detailing is phenomenal. One thing I want to point out, the, uh, the peg was glued in on the plasma pistol, so I had to drill it out. So be careful of that. If it is glued in, you probably will have to break it like I did and drill it out. But it's still usable because they're extra long anyway, so it's not really a problem. But something to note. So the paints, I think, are perfect. The sculpts, I think, are perfect. I already said I understand why the shoulders are different and the chest is a little bit narrow. But once you pose him, those issues disappear automatically. Same thing with people saying, well, you can see the elbow joints and the wrist suit and everything. If you put him in a pose at all, that issue doesn't become an issue anymore. So unless you're going to have your figure standing like this, just and it's going to look weird. But if you pose him in any way, then you won't have any trouble. And even then, I don't think he looks weird, but... So I don't have any problems with that. So I think the sculpt is great. The paint is great. I really don't have any complaints. I absolutely love this figure. As far as articulation goes, the head is on a double ball joint. Double ball peg. So look at the range of motion. It's just great. And you can see inside, but if you push the head back you can't so it, it's adjustable so if you want to look down you can if you want to look up you can 
really anything you want to do with this guy you can. Shoulders are on the butterfly joints. They don't have a huge range of motion but they're more than enough and they don't look awkward so that's cool. On top of that joint we have the standard ball hinge or ball disc. It's a little stiff so be careful but it's there and it works. And then we have a bicep swivel hidden inside the armor. The standard play arts elbows, which I, again, I have no problem with. They swivel at the top and the bottom and are ratcheted. Better than 90 degree range of motion, so that's fine with me. Same articulation for the wrist. So again, people are saying that wrist joint's ugly, but it lets you do anything you want to do with the wrist. So any poses you want to do with the gun, you should be able to get them done. The torso is on a double ball peg. The upper torso, so pretty good range of motion. Not quite as good as the Spartan Warrior, but pretty good. And then the lower abdomen is on a ball peg, so it has really good range of motion as well. He's got the floating groin piece, and then the ratcheting hips. They go ratcheting side to side, and front to back, and then the thigh swivels around on the socket as well. So pretty good range of motion. I don't believe this part swivels on top of this. It looks like it's all one piece. Well, I mean, like it's glued together, so I wouldn't try that. Uh, he's got the nice knee armor, so that hides the knee joint pretty well. Doesn't look ugly to me. Definitely better than some. I wouldn't use that lower knee joint, though, because that does get a little bit ugly. So I would leave that straight and just bend it like that, and then you're okay. The ankles do have a bit of an issue because the range of motion is very limited. This piece, I think they should have just pushed it forward a little bit to give him a better range of motion so that it didn't catch. You can go back pretty far, but forward is very limited. It looks like that piece is glued on, so I might try to pop it off and move it forward some, but it's not a huge deal for me. I'm okay with it. The feet have a cut joint to let them rotate, but you don't need that because you can just manipulate the ankle around so that the foot can do it on its own. So I don't get why they put that cut joint in there, but they did. So what are you going to do? It's hidden. If you don't want to use it, you can't tell it's there. So I can't really say enough how good I think this figure is. I don't understand why people are complaining. I don't see any proportion issues at all. It definitely has better proportions than the McFarlane 12-inch figure and uh, some of the smaller McFarlane figures as well. So... Sure, if you look at it square on, you might take issue with the shoulders, which I can understand, but as soon as you pose it or even turn it to the side, it looks really good. So, again, I don't have any issue with it, and I don't think you should either. If you're a Halo fan or any sort of fan of action figures, this is a great one to pick up. I highly recommend it. Look at the battle damage on the chest. That looks really cool, too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some other figure reviews and other good stuff, and in the meantime, keep collecting.